Whoops. I accidentally hit record. It wasn't ready. <gasps> hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay. I have not put up my screen share. Ah, or did I? No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I do have it up. Okay. I was not ready. Okay, you guys. I have a Bolo category video for you guys. And this one is going to be on Transformers. So Transformers are toys. Um, some of them can be bread and butter. Some of them can be big money. So um, what I want to show you here is... And then I did take my screen share down. Okay, so before we get started, I'm gonna take you over here to my reseller testing products. And I wanted to show you my best video ever. It's this Transformers video that I did. You guys, it's like this little Transformer. I had no idea how to make it work. And it's so funny because somebody left a comment and they're like, it's the easiest transformer to transform. Like, why would anybody need to watch this video? And I could not figure out how to do it. And I actually figured out how to do it in the video. And I was like, so proud of myself. And I almost did not post the video. And it now has 52,000 views. My best video ever. So if you guys want to go check that out, you can. Um, it's only a one minute video but is, it is over on my other channel, Reseller Testing Products. I'm at 424 subscribers. So if you guys can go and subscribe and check out some of those videos, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to grow that channel. Um, I will link it down in the description. I will try to remember to link it. If I forget to link it, I think it's under my link tree. So you guys can find it there. Um, but yeah we are going to talk about transformers to look for in this video. So um, vintage transformers can definitely, definitely be a bolo. Um, this guy right here, um, I actually pulled one of these out of a mystery box the other day. I do not believe that mine is an actual transformer. I think mine just kind of opens up and, uh, I don't think mine has a transformer in it, but I don't know. It has the front and it opens up flat like this. Maybe, goodness me, I wonder if, now that I'm looking at this, I wonder if mine was a transformer and I just didn't know it. I hope I didn't donate the transformer. Hmm. Well, if I did, I might have goofed. So anyway, this sold for $276, you guys. It's a Transformer G1 Original Vintage Optimus Prime. So that's what it looks like. Interesting, right? So definitely be on the lookout for that guy. All right, the next item. Uh, let me show you something here. So this had 98 bids. There were 12 bidders, unique bidders. Um, let's go in here. If you click here and then you go to the feedback, you can see that this item was paid for and it says accurate description of item and ship fast. So sold for $276. So this was a good transaction it was complete and that's how you uh know that everything went through so i did not check every single item but that is how you would check all right the next item another thing that you can look for when looking for transformers are items that are in the original box this item is used but it has the original box, which is going to help with the value of the item. You can see here that it looks like it is incomplete. It looks like it's missing one of the parts, but it does have the original box. 
This one sold for $185.45. So um, definitely be on the lookout for items in the original box. And just disclose, like it says, missing one weapon instructions and catalog. So um, just disclose that. The next lot is this huge lot of Transformers from the 1980s, vintage figures and vehicles. So this could be a lot that maybe a reseller is buying to flip, or it could be a lot that a collector is buying, or it could just be a lot that a parent is buying for their child. Um, but this is um, a lot, which means that it is a bunch of toys that are being sold together. Uh, this sold for $410 plus shipping. Now, I don't know what these items sell for individually. So I don't know if this is somebody that's going to part this out or not. So um, a collector would know more. Uh, 410 seems like a lot of money. So you would definitely have to look these items up individually and decide what they sell for individually and then decide if $410 would be what your max bid would be as a reseller if it's a good reseller lot or not. The next item, um, I always look for dinosaurs when I am out, whether it's a transformer or not a transformer, I look up dinosaurs because a lot of people collect dinosaurs. Now this one is a transforming dino bot. Uh, it's a G1. And this guy sold for $142.50. It had 39 bids and the buyer paid shipping. It looks like he's got his weapons, which is definitely helpful. Um, another thing you can do is if you find a dino um, bot and he doesn't have his weapons, you know, people may be selling the weapons individually. So um, you can always sell the weapons on their own. So if you don't have the dino, but you have the weapons, you can sell them individually. But the problem is, is trying to identify the weapons. Um, like you may find these weapons at a garage sale in a box of toys, but figuring out which uh, toy these go with may be difficult unless you are really familiar with this dino bot. Like, um, I would have no idea that these weapons went with these dino bot unless they were in a plastic bag with this dino bot. But if you are familiar with this transformer, you may know that and you could sell these weapons separately. So, um, weapons can definitely be a bolo on their own, but again, you have to be able to identify them. And that can be very, very difficult if you don't know the weapon, but this dino bot again is definitely a bolo. So um, be on the lookout, but it probably sold for more because it did have the weapons with it. The next item is this Scorponic Vintage 1987 G1 Transformer, sold for $187.50. Again, it has all of these accessories with it. So that is going to increase the value. Um, always helps when you've got the weapons and the accessories um, that go with it. It's got this little guy here. And again, this sold for $187.50. So I am definitely on the lookout for more transformers that do things because I need to transform them and put them on my channel because I'm hoping that I can get some more things that are going to get views like that. 52,000 views was amazing. Okay, so not only do the Transformers do well, but things that have to do with Transformers. For example, these 1984 G1 party plates, napkins, and balloons. So these are party supplies. How cool is that? Pretty neat, right? And these are from 1984. You got the invitations, and they sold for $117.50. So my question is, did a collector buy these or did somebody actually use these for a birthday party? 
What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think somebody used them or is somebody collecting these and just using them for a display? The next item are these vintage 1980s transformers. So these are just little guys. And um, these sold for $61. And I'm going to show you the backs here so you know what to look for. They've got like this little um, square on the back. And I'm not familiar with these. So I always like to learn myself. And that's why I do these category videos because... I myself am also learning and I really enjoy toys. Um, I like to go to garage sales and I get a lot of mystery boxes. So if I can learn what to look for when I see these things, I'm going to be like, oh, I remember that from that video I made. And then I'll be able to pull those items out and list them. So I um, this sold for $61 plus shipping. And I don't know what this F72 is. I don't know. Maybe that's just a uh, inventory thing for this seller. I'm not sure. Uh, lunchbox. This is a metal lunchbox and it has a transformer theme on it. So definitely, definitely look these up if you see them. This has the thermos, which is going to bring the value up. But this sold for $72 and the buyer paid shipping. Here is um, this one. So this said F72. So again, this might be the same seller, but these are the, from the 1980s G1 Transformers. These are the mini cars also. Looks like it's got um, some packaging, but these are super, super cute. These are the little ones. Only three pictures. I'm not sure why. Uh, but these sold for $226 and one cent. Um, just information down there, but I, I don't know. I was hoping to get some pictures of the back. I don't know if these have those squares on the back or not. Um, I don't know if those are the same or not. Sorry, guys. The, I was Like I said, I was hoping for better pictures. Um, yeah, that looks like it. Does that have the square there? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, but they're the minis, mini transformers. Okay, so this is the vintage transformers G1 construct Constructicons Devastator from 1985. And it's complete, so that helps. And he looks like he's bigger. And he looks like he breaks down into, wow. So this is him. And then he breaks down into all these little vehicles. Wow, that looks like a lot of work. So I will tell you one thing. I am horrible at Transformers. Horrible. Um, I have bought, I have a whole tote of these to list. And you want to know what they're doing? They're sitting in a tote because I can't figure them out. Horrible at Transformers. Um, but these, uh, this one sold for $182.50. And I do want to put some of those on my reseller testing products, but I'm trying to get my husband involved in that. And so far, it's a no-go. <laughs> he is not, um, he's not volunteered yet. So I keep saying, come on, please. It'll only take like three minutes per video not having it. All right. The next item is this trail breaker. Now this is more of a bread and butter, but it, it, it sold for $24 and 75 cents plus shipping, which I think is pretty good for one car. It's a G1 vintage 1984 action Hasbro vintage. And it does say that it's been repaired. So I'm not sure what that means, but, um, yeah, it's just a, one car. So that's the price it sold for with a repair. So I don't know what it would have gone for um, not repaired, but that's what it turns into. So pretty cool, right? All right, the next item is this 1980s vintage Hasbro Takara Transformers G1 mini cassette. Now this one, I'm not sure why they didn't show it transformed. I thought that was odd but it will transform into a, um, a figure. 
But again, they didn't transform it. So not sure why. But definitely look for the Transformer mini cassettes. This one sold for $61.56 plus shipping. This is a vintage G1 Transformers Omega Supreme Yellow Clips track. So this is a parts lot. Um, I have no idea what it goes to, but it goes to some sort of transformer. And it went for $61. So transformer parts can definitely be a bolo also. So this is a tray, a Transformers G1 vintage 1984 folding metal tray. So pretty cool. And it sold for $49. And the buyer paid the shipping on that. The next item are instructions. So this is for the vintage G1 transformer and it's just the instructions and it's from 1984. So I guess you could consider this like ephemera because it's paper, nothing else, just the paper. And this sold for $21.26 with free shipping. And you know, nowadays we can look things up online, but it is sometimes nice to have the original instructions to go with the toy or like the original box. So people will look for the original instructions. So those can definitely be a be on the lookout Bolo item. The next item is this vintage uh, Transformers G1. It's the Canon Arm Connector. So this is a part. So somebody has the Transformer and they just need this part. Again, the hard part is figuring out if you get this piece and a lot of items, what the part is and what it goes to. So um, this person figured it out. They listed it correctly and it sold for $31 plus shipping. So um, if you can identify it, you can definitely make money on these items. To me, that's a great bolo. $31 plus shipping for that one piece. So um, great bolo item. The next item is this 1987 Transformers movie. It is a VHS and they didn't even put VHS in the title. It's from the 80s and it sold for $153.76, you guys. Very, very cool. And that is it. And again, please head over to my reseller testing products. If you guys could subscribe, that would be awesome. I'm working towards getting a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours. I think I'm at like 520 some hours. So I've got a long way to go on my hours. So if you guys can watch some videos, that would be awesome and subscribe. That would be great. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you all so much. And I hope you guys can go out and find some transformers. I hope you learned something. So definitely looking for things that are new old stock, things that are in the original packaging. Parts can do great if you can identify them. Weapons can do great. Uh, transformers that are complete are definitely a bolo. Even if they're not complete, they can also be a bolo. Um, anything that are transformers in topic, themes, so like the VHS, the tray, the party supplies, the lunchbox. So um, vintage transformers are definitely a bolo item. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Google Lens is fantastic for looking up transformers. Um, I have identified lots of transformers using Google Lens. So definitely uh, take advantage of that. All right, you guys, this is a bolo category video. I have lots of these on my channel, so definitely go check out that playlist if you haven't already. And thanks for being here, and thanks for watching. Have a great night.